What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Isabella Teratro, back at you again. Gonna hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, subscribes, the love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. I'm not currently accepting personals, but you're more than welcome to go over to my Etsy link. It will be in the description box below um, for you to check out my spiritual shop. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get in here. Yes, this is a blackout video. I do these from time to time. Um, don't feel like you need to comment on it, what's wrong with the screen. Sometimes I just do it because realistically I can't always make it to the office. So, um, for those of you who, you know, really want the daily messages, this shit's just, this is how it is. And okay, so <clears throat> there is a message that I need to be given to you guys today. I was, I had started it. I had pre-shuffled and was looking at it. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to give this message to us. Shit, you know how to put it back in. And I've been shuffling this whole time. And the same damn shit just popped out again. Okay, so there is something. Because I wanted to hit on finances and career and what's going on with that. Okay. And the same freaking cards are coming out. So, I've got, um, mm-hmm. I've got three, not three of, well, I do have three of, um, wands i've got five of wands and i've got seven of cups in regards to your finances and career okay so be i feel like some of you are waiting on some kind of message to come in um i feel like you've you've been waiting for a long time i feel like the message that you've been waiting for is going to come in um I'm getting this energy of two groups possibly fighting in regards to a, a work situation or a work dynamic, okay? It's somebody that you have to collaborate with in a place of employment or something that um, is attached to some kind of financial... Um, it's, it's, it's attached to your finances in some way, okay? Um, I feel like some of you have been waiting on some kind of communication to come in, whether it's be an email um, or a phone call about making something stable or um, getting some kind of collaboration is what I'm getting. There's some kind of collaboration that you've been waiting to come through. Um, it's definitely coming through this week. Okay, I feel like you feel like it's been a long time coming, um, but I feel like there is something that's coming in that's like that you're not seeing or I am getting if this was something in regards to an agreement, you better check the fine print because there's some kind of hidden clause or there's something that's not seen that I feel like if you don't address now, you're going to be pissed off down the road. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, check the fine print because there's something in regards to what is being presented to you. Um, you're going to, you, you may like, you may be fine with certain parts of it, but I feel like there are other parts that are going to need to be addressed. Um, I am getting some kind of feeling of anxiety around the estate, okay, because of some of the things that are going on with um, finances and agreements, all right, I feel like right now, I feel like a lot of you are just throwing yourself into work, I feel like some of you might possibly be overdoing it in this time, um, feeling like you have to, like, I feel like you feel that you are, you're, you're living up to, like, standards that you've set for yourself that are almost unrealistic. I feel like some of you have set unrealistic standards. Let's just go with it because that's what I'm getting. You set unrealistic standards and you're causing yourself more anxiety um, to live a certain lifestyle. Okay. I feel like spirit is slowing you down in this time to really look at what you have and to really appreciate where you are in life. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you, you are in this stagnant energy and kind of stuck right now to be forced to kind of look where you are and to realize how far you've come, okay? For some of you, I feel like there is um, there is an opportunity that is coming in for you um, that you need to be mindful of because I feel like it's coming in really fast, okay? Um, I feel like there's something about this opportunity that's being presented to you that is going to have you feeling like, I feel like you're going to feel like you're, um, 
you're going to end up butt hurt if you accept one of these opportunities that's coming in for you. The, the one that's coming in fast, okay? Um, I'm getting the energy of you are wanting something to happen fast. You are tired of waiting, so you're almost willing to um, jump on whatever is offered to you in this time. I feel like spirit saying, don't do that, okay? Um, there's a reason why you are delayed right now. I feel like something better is coming. Um, it's all about um, if you're willing to wait on it or not, because I really feel like you're very, uh, you're in this energy of not wanting to wait. It's like you wanted this shit and you wanted it like two weeks ago or yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you um, are tired of waiting on a certain outcome. And I feel like some of you have, you know, done what you can to speed things up. Um, I feel like you're really wanting balance in this time. It's like you're tired of feeling the unbalanced energy. 222 is going to be very significant for you as well. Um, you, you're probably seeing that a lot, okay? Balance is needed in this time for you. I feel like for some of you, you're put in, you're, I feel like you're so used to moving forward and at lightning speed that spirit is really forcing you to slow down and really look at what you've got going on. Um, and to make educated decisions before you move forward, okay? Because I feel like if you, if, the, if something that's being presented to you, if you jump on it really quick and don't look it over and handle what is necessary to be handled, I feel like you're going to be, you're not going to be happy with what you get long term, okay? Take your time is what I'm getting. Take your time with this decision that needs to be made because somebody is trying to get away with something, okay? I feel like either somebody's trying to offer you less than what you are worth in in your career and finances um, or somebody's just trying to be sneaky. Somebody's trying to get away with something in this time, okay? I feel like Spirit's trying to get you to slow down and <laughs> slow your roll so you can see what's really going on. Because I feel like you're not going to be cool with what is brought to your attention within like a week of you either signing a contract or within a week of you just making some impulse decision, okay? Like I feel like the uh, decision that needs to be made that's going to be presented to you is going to end up really having you in your head and possibly... Um, Really like dealing with a lot of extra anxiety and extra worry and fear if you don't take your time with this. What does the Gemini need to know in regards to love partnerships and relationships? Love partnerships and relationships for the Gemini. Love partnership and relationship for the Gemini. Mmm. They can connect them with a single Gemini. Love partnerships and relationships for the Gemini. <laughs> hmm. For those of you who are single, somebody's definitely coming in with some information within a week's time. I feel like letting you know of some treachery that was going on behind the scenes, okay? For for those of you who are single, all right, and you're wondering why things weren't really progressing forward with the person that you're talking to or this person that you were interested in, this motherfucker had a whole baby mama, side piece, girlfriend, something else on the side that you weren't aware of, and I believe that information is being brought to you. I feel like somebody's definitely reaching out to you in this time to give you some information, okay? Um, of some backstabbing and betrayal that was been going on, okay? Somebody was in some fuckboy energy or fuck girl energy, and I really feel like that other person, I really feel like that person is, like, reaching out to you in this time, okay? I feel like you're going to be really in your head about what is presented to you, um, but I feel like it's going to give you closure and have you understand why things weren't moving forward and realizing that the shit wasn't you. It's because this person was sitting here juggling you. They were juggling the energies. They weren't like things were the energy. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, for the single, I feel like this is talking about single. Um, I feel like you're getting closure this week. 
about a third party situation that you weren't even aware that was going on okay i feel like this was somebody that you really thought that you were going to settle down with but i feel like you've been wondering why things aren't moving forward it's like this person seemed like you know they were so good for you but you're really seeing um i feel like you you're either getting a message from this person or you're, or you're possibly going through this person's phone and seeing messages between them and someone else um that's really for some of you you are going to be devastated because you thought that this was more than um what they what they were you know what they were sitting here telling you um versus what they were actually doing like you you're um getting a lot of clarity this week in regards to a relationship and i feel like you are um definitely separating yourself from this energy and moving forward and moving on um <laughs> I feel like your finances, you're realizing that your finances are good. Like, you've got more opportunities um, to, like, I feel like you might have possibly, I heard, I don't want to scrub, okay? So, I feel like this person who had you in competition was literally a fuck boy or fuck girl, whatever you, you know, flip it how you need to. But I feel like you're realizing that you can do better. I heard I can do bad all by myself, but I almost feel like there's somebody who is also trying to um, come in and get your attention. Somebody that you're, you either work with this person or work around this person, okay? There is somebody in the office or um, wherever you're working that has had their eye on you for some time, okay? Um, and I am getting big dick energy here, okay? Um, let's see. What's going on for those who are actually in a relationship? What's going on for the Gemini who are in a relationship? What's their love message? For the Gemini who are in a relationship... What is their message? What is the message for Gemini who are in a relationship? I heard spice it up. Eight of Pentacles jumped out, but I heard spice it up. So I feel like for some of you who are in a relationship, you're working on working towards building something solid and stable with your individual um or the partner that you're dealing with i feel like you're wanting to spice things up okay um i feel like there may possibly have been some kind of conversation that popped off that illuminated um how somebody's actually feeling in the relationship and that's what's brought this out and made you realize y'all need something new you need something fresh um it's like you <laughs> You, you want your the emotions to be there, but you don't feel like they're really there. I feel like you're really taking control of a situation and trying to fix things. I feel like you're also, you're, you're fighting the energy of wanting to be, um, for some of you, you're fighting the energy of wanting to be single, okay, um, because of certain... certain shit that's popping off it really feels like a certain conversations are the like i feel like a sabotage energy around the relationship okay i feel like this may possibly be a very good partnership but i feel like self-sabotage is what i'm getting um i feel like someone's bored in the relationship and is wanting to go on a trip go on a journey do something new do something different um but i feel like the reason that you're not moving forward is because like I feel like you don't really want to move away from this person you just want something um you I feel like you're wanting more fun in this time I feel like you're wanting more fun I feel like you're bored it looks like you're bored um and it's almost feel like I feel like someone in this partnership is stirring up drama or stirring up unnecessary conflict because they're bored mm-hmm Okay, and it's like they're trying to find something to do instead of being, you know, complacent with what's going on. Um, I'm just seeing someone start start fights. <laughs> and it's possibly the feminine energy because I've got the Empress here. Um, some, <laughs> some, 
somebody doesn't want to be a player, but it's like they're they're missing their somebody's reminiscing on some ho days over here. <laughs> we got I got the Empress and the Four of Wands popped up upside down, and I don't know why it's like strip clubs and strip joints. Like I feel like somebody's really reminiscing on just going out and being a ho. <laughs> they're bored and it's like they they're just sitting there somebody's contemplating on walking away from a relationship out of boredom but I feel like there's something that's also not seen with this if you were to do this like I've, I've got the strength card underneath it so I feel like this is possibly um a really strong partnership Special two of cups over here. I feel like it's a very strong partnership. I just feel like somebody um, has way too much time on their hands or just isn't... Somebody's not fulfilled, okay? So, it's like I feel like in this time you're going to be looking for ways to um, have more fun or introduce more fun into the equation. For some of you, I feel like you're putting in extra time at work. Um, to make sure you're not financially strapped with whatever it is that you're planning to do. Um, for those of you who are in a relationship and trying to get out of a relationship, trying to do the the um, trying to get a divorce and to go back into your ho your ho your ho phase, um, I feel like there's something spirits spirits saying slow down because of page of swords right here. Um, watch your words in this time. Um, I feel like with the Seven of Cups, there is something that's not seen like on the journey or on the trip to getting out of a certain relationship. Um, I feel like the Spirit's just saying S slow down, okay? There's something that you're not seeing about this. For some of you who are getting out of a, um, a partnership... I'm definitely seeing that there is going to be a little bit of financial struggle that comes with that. I've got five of wands too. And I feel like your person isn't really willing to let you go in the first place. So they're going to try to make this harder to keep you stuck. Um, six of pentacles. Like I feel like your person is going to try to change the way that they respond to you. I feel like they may not have been giving enough to you emotionally. Um... They haven't been given enough to the relationship emotionally. And I feel like you might have, some of you have definitely um, thrown divorce up in their face. Okay. And I feel like your person is going to start trying to be more generous and show, like, uh, what is it? Love language. Some of your love language is like um, gifts. I feel like your person's trying to get clear on... <sighs> What they need to do to fix things with you. That was random. My my right foot just started vibrating. I don't know what that was about. I feel like it's because like you're really one foot out the door. Okay. I feel like your person like definitely know, knows that you're one foot out the door. And I feel like they're trying to do whatever they can do to keep you. But I feel like it's more so financially based. Like I feel like this person doesn't really understand how to give um, the level of emotion that it is that you're seeking. So they're feeling like they can fix things with money. All right. But there is going to be some kind of um, message. Like I feel like there's definitely a conversation that needs to be had. I feel like Spirit's definitely saying to watch your words in this time. In dealing with any love partnerships. Let's see what Spirit feels like you need to be aware of for today. What does Gemini need to be aware of for today? Too many. What does the Gemini need to know? <laughs> I start hearing, bitch, you doing a good job. Bitch, you doing a good job. Fuck that laundry. Fuck that dish. <laughs> That's some TikTok ass shit. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm definitely getting something in regards to family, um, dynamics, family get togethers. Okay. I feel like um for some of you, you're just trying to figure out where you like you've got too much on your plate and you're trying to figure out what you can sit down and still keep shit popping. Okay. I feel like you're really trying to um I feel like somebody's going to be offering um, 
a cup of love. I feel like a cup of love with this knot of knot of cups. I feel like somebody's going to be extending um, their love to you this week. I feel like there there's somebody who you might have had issues with. I'm seeing um, things are actually going to start getting better between you and this person. I feel like um, somebody is feeling remorse for how that they how they've reacted or how they've done you or how you've perceived how a conversation went between the two of you um i feel like somebody's definitely wanting a new beginning with you and it feels like it's very familial i feel like it's somebody who might have um caused you to have to like i feel like it's someone who's caused you to for some of you relocate possibly just removed your you've removed your energy completely from a certain individual um, and I feel like it's their load, whoever this is, their load is too heavy and they're wanting to come in and um, collaborate with you again. But it doesn't really feel like I feel like if this is an apology, like I am getting peace offering, um, somebody is going to be coming in trying to pretty much smooth things over. I feel like they have actually learned their lesson, whoever this is. Um, they've had to pick up the pieces without you or they've had to really work hard to you know um I feel like they've do, they've done the work to see where it is that they've gone wrong in certain situations and I feel like this person who is coming back in um is really ready to um like give you a like I feel like you're going to be getting some kind of serious apology um like sincere heartfelt apology or a, an exclam ex exclamation explanation thank you mercury um for certain actions that you know made you want to um separate yourself from this person okay i am seeing a new beginning in love in um family dynamics i feel like things are actually about to get better um i feel like you are in the process of letting something go um <laughs> look you had dropped these people and I feel like um they really feel it whoever it is that you've like literally dropped they feel that shit and I feel like they're wanting to come in and really like I feel like you're gonna get a, heart a heartfelt apology come in from this person I feel like it's possibly within the next 10 days they're wanting to move out of you know the turmoil and they're willing to do whatever it takes to do that with you anyways that's you guys' message like share subscribe and i will see you guys later bye